what we do here is go back, 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 back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're well and you're healthy. Thank you for subscribing, being here and engaging in this community with me. My name is Diana Constantinidi. I'm an international human rights lawyer. So this video about how to deal with professional rejections was a request from one of my uh, very dear subscribers, Le Petit Prince. And uh, he asked me this question about how to deal with professional rejections. So I've compiled down my very own experience as to how I dealt with it through the time and even today, uh, applying for different projects, different ideas, different uh, things to engage with different people, collaborations, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything will work out perfectly or as you had it in your mind. So I've written down what I believe to be my top tips about how to deal with professional rejections. So I've got here my, um, my notes. So the first thing that I want to tell you is that well done you have started applying for what you want to. If you're watching this video, perhaps it will be something related to human rights, international law, but even if it's not related to this field, it doesn't matter. The mere fact that you've gone through that process and overcame your fear about potentially being rejected and knowing that you'd be engaged in this process, you're already ahead of the game. You've decided to embark on this journey. So well done to you. And I guess that's quite important. People don't really acknowledge that when you decide to go ahead. So first tick is gone. So second tip that I have for you is to create a vision map. Now when you create a vision map, you ask yourself, what do you, what do you see yourself in five years time? Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? Actually, not long time ago during COVID-19 with my husband, we sat down and we prepared a vision plan. Where do we see ourselves? What do we want to do? What is our goal? What is our, um, our dream? And um, in the different aspects in a relationship, you want to make sure that you push each other to reach its full capacity. But that also applies to individuals, us, that we're trying to do things. So create your very own vision map and pinpoint down what is that that you need to do. And you break it down in action points. So it doesn't, it's not a longer vision. It becomes reality, your very own tangible reality. So after you watch, finish and watching this video, go and sit down with a nice cup of tea or coffee and make your vision plan. Okay, now tip number three that I'm gonna suggest to you is that once you prepare this vision plan, you have to take things step by step. I am guilty and I'm, I'm going to admit it that I'm one of those very impatient persons that if I want something, I want it to be done today. And um, I will get frustrated if it's not done today. Um, and sometimes I will be, you know, at the end of the night, my husband will tell me, you know, Diana is about to go and sleep, but I haven't been able to finish everything that I wanted to do, my what I've planned in my head. So. You know, I feel for you, if you're one of those people, I do feel for you and I do sense for you. So, um, you know, you have to break it down step by step and every day you're reaching closer to your goal. That leads me to the fourth step, which is applying for opportunities, applying for jobs, applying to, um, to anything really. It's a full-time engagement process. And I say that because through that process, just making an application, if you're making for a Magic Circle Law Firm, if you're applying to the International Criminal Court, if you're applying uh, for an internship at the ICJ, if you're applying for mini pupillage, if you're applying for a pupillage itself, the whole process that you have got to do your research, you've got to read through the application, you've got to proofread your application, you need to understand what your skills are. So there is a lot of internal work that you have to do. So through that process, you have to give yourself the time and the space to be creative and realize what is unique about you because each and every one of us we have a unique point and that's what people want to see people want to see what your unique point is so give yourself that time to identify it and allow that to blossom through your application take your time it's a fully engaged job i'm not saying it's a it's a full-time job um, and that's what most people do tend to say because I remember when I was applying, at the same time I was working full-time. I was pursuing my international career while I was working full-time as a barrister. Uh, as a junior barrister, I was most of the times waking up ridiculous hours, going to court, conducting trials, coming back and still going ahead. And uh, because I had a vision, I had my plan there and I was going for it step by step. So it's a full engagement. Once you decide to do that, that, that 
point you have to be engaged to it. It's not a full-time thing, but you have to be fully engaged when you decide to do it. It's not just about applying. You have to network. So you are applying and at the same time you have to identify. So in that vision plan, in those steps that you're taking, just go on your, on your Google, type different events, various events, um, networking events, whether it's international legal events, whether it's any collaboration with articles, whether it's about writing articles, and put that down on your vision plan. Because that would allow you to conceptualize a profile People don't want to see someone that is just trying and looking for opportunities because it's a one-way thing. It needs to be an engagement about give and take. So the question is what you're going to give for them to return back to you. So it's not just merely you asking things. You are giving in return back to that firm, into that, into those chambers. Yeah. So it's a give and take process like any relationship, there is give and take. So network, identify those people, do your research, find who they are, read about them, read a book. As you can see, I've got many books. Some of them I read about them when I went to them and met them in, in events. I was like, oh my God, I've read about you. And if I'm not mistaken, one of the authors actually, when I went to one of his book presentations, I took all of his books that I had and I've asked him, please, can I, can I, can you sign those books for me? Um, so being human, being, being real, identifying who you are, what you're passionate about and get out there, make people aware of who you are. Okay, so you've got to network and with that point I just want to add something else. I'm so sorry, the light may be a bit terrible. It's about eight o'clock at night. <laughs> Let me get a bit closer. Um, so create um, your own business cards. Have nice business cards. When you get there, you say your name and you give your business cards. It shows professionalism, it shows determination and that's what we want. Um, I'm so excited because I want you to succeed. I want you to make it happen. I would like to hear your own comments down below once you, you've been able to get the job that you wanted or you know, you're know you you're climbing towards the ladder of making things happen. So I'm looking forward for that. Now, once you apply, the question is, how do you, how do you deal with the rejection? I have ambidence of rejections to, sh to show you. I, I, I can't remember actually, but I think for quite some time I had a file full of rejections and so many of them on my email as well. So, um, does it affect you? Sometimes it does, but most of the times it doesn't. Because that shows that you're a person trying, you're not afraid of trying, you're not afraid to get out there, expose yourself, and that's what you need to do. What's the, what's, what's the worst that can happen? You're going to get rejected and then what? Nothing, absolutely nothing. You are getting closer, you're realising, you're becoming aware of who, who you could potentially become. So once you apply what I normally did, I would delete from my mind. I would do the application and I would completely forget about it. Delete it from my mind. Do it, done, go, move on. What's the next opportunity? What's the next thing to do? Because there is nothing more that you can do, apart from perhaps chasing up, which you can take a note on your, on your diary, but there's nothing more that you can do. Um, last but not least, rejection is not a bad thing. Rejection is a part of a journey of realizing who you are and you should embrace them. You should, you should try to, to have some of yours in, in your life um, because at least from my experience and to all these wonderful people that I met in my journey and I keep on meeting those beautiful people in my journey, there is no even one of them that has an experience rejection. So it is part of the journey and enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you like it, I hope uh, Le Petit Prince, who's the subscriber who asked for it, who made a comment in one of my videos, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I wish all of you to have a beautiful day or night whenever you're watching this. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification button and if you would like to discuss with me about conceptualising an international profile, you want it a bit more personalised, uh, please drop me uh, an email and I'm offering legal sessions to do that and help you and assist you of course. Have a wonderful day, take care, love you, bye bye.